Hello. Hello. Testing. Hello and welcome back to another vlog with Beeb Travels. This week we are in Luang Prabang and me and Eve are going to be showing you all the best eats that we found during our time here. We've tried some local dishes and a few social enterprise cafes. We also ate at the morning market. However, this is in our Luang Prabang activities video linked at the top of the screen. Very excited to show you what we ate during our time here. So let's go. So Lao had a French colonial rule for a long time and this is really reflective in the food that's here. So we're going to go and find ourselves a croissant to fit with the French food. Le Banaton Café and French Bakery. So we have ordered a brunch set which comes with a plain croissant, an olive and carrot muffin, which is interesting, um, a fruit salad for health, <laughs> smoked salmon on sourdough and a little bit of a side salad as well. Looks delicious. Very excited to get involved. <laughs> I feel like I could be sat in France right now. Breakfast was really, really good. I'm feeling particularly full now. There was a lot of food uh, and it only came to five pounds for that big plate of food, uh, orange juice and an espresso. So really good, would definitely recommend here. The orange juice, I'm gonna go so far to say that's the best fresh orange I've ever had. It was so good. All the pastries on the counter were less than one pound. You can't go wrong. No better way to start the day than with a coffee and a croissant. influence in the food in Luan Parang Lao is shining through yet again. They have these, well they call them sandwich ladies, yeah, just stalls that sell baguettes on the side of the road. So we're gonna go and try one now. We walked past one the other day and it looked so good. So I marked it on Google Maps so that we could come back. So that's where we're heading. any one of those things so we came to this place called take a break for bread instead and it was delicious it was so good that food was absolutely fire probably the best sandwich i think i've ever eaten in total it cost three pound fifty for two hot baguettes for me and eve and two drinks more than that for a meal deal in the uk I'm already very excited about this place. Couldn't decide what I wanted to eat because it all sounded so good. But I've made my decision and I'm getting one chicken lime taco and one mango spring roll with peanut sauce. Bob's getting lamb meatballs. So mine and Eve's camera did die whilst we were in Buang Asian Eatery. Great content creators, I know. However, our food was incredible. I opted for the Lao meatballs because Lao sausage and Lao meatballs is something that's very popular across Lao. The sausage usually consists of coarsely ground pork, kefir lime leaves and lemongrass. So tasty, you will see it everywhere in Lao. Really, really good at Buang Asian Eatery. Me and Eve did also stop there and treat ourselves to some really nice cocktails whilst we were there for our first night in Luang Prabang. Just a little taste of luxury. Honestly, a really nice little spot and I would recommend. time it is it's coffee time <laughs> we have come to saffron coffee there's a really nice story behind this coffee shop the farmers in Laos in this particular region used to farm opium 
And when that got banned by the government, they didn't know what to farm until someone showed them they could grow coffee. So they switched from opium to coffee, and then this cafe was set up, and they buy all the coffee from the farmers and then distribute it and roast it here in their own coffee shop. So the coffee is sustainably produced and supports the local farmers, which is really nice. Also, the coffee is delicious and it costs less than one pound, so what could be better? We've come to Family Bakery today for lunch. This place is really special because it was co-created with an environmental and educational NGO in Nampiao, a village that we've recently visited. So all the profits go towards giving students in that area English lessons, teaching them about the environment and different environmental projects as well, which we think is a really great cause. So you can do your bit of helping the community while getting some delicious food. So you cannot come to Lao without trying what some consider the national dish, lap. It's essentially a salad with a meat base flavoured with garlic, lime and fish sauce. So lap can be served raw or cooked. Most of the places you'll probably go will serve it cooked. I didn't try the raw version, but I do think it is a very different and unique dish. So I would definitely recommend trying it. A really light dish as well. So something really good to have for lunch. This is what I got at the family bakery. It was delicious. Eve got the pineapple chicken, which again, just a classic Asian dish. Really, really good food and a really good way to give back as well. This place does full meals for dinner as well as breakfast and lunch. And again, it was a really Really nice spot. Dinner time has come round again. We are on our way to a restaurant called Joy's. We've read some really good things about this place and then we've also read a few mixed reviews. We're gonna go check it out so you don't have to. Let me tell you a little bit about pork alam. It is often referred to as forest soup. It is a dish which consists of often pork, mushrooms, and served in a broth with sticky rice. It is a local Lao dish, considerably local to Luang Prabang as well. So again, had to try it when you're there. We actually spoke to Joy, the owner. Her husband is a photographer, so has these really beautiful pictures of Lao people from around the local area, all over the walls. She is a lovely lady, very humble, and really proud of the food that she makes in her restaurant. So again, I would definitely, definitely recommend this place. We have just spent the morning at Formula B cafe, coffee shop. It was so lovely in there. It had the cutest coffee shop vibes. I was all here for it. Coffee was really, really good. They did a piccolo, which is mine and Bob's favourite in Asia. We don't really have them in the UK. It was a lovely place to sit and just do some work or read a book. Really good. I would come back. 10 out of 10 experience here. They also had some really nice looking cakes. Me and Bob got a cookie each for breakfast, which is maybe a bit naughty, but I have no regrets. Cookies are cookies and they were really good. On our way to a place called Popolo for dinner. It's wood fired pizza. I am excited. So we've read a little bit about it and it's meant to be a French inspired pizza place. Not fully sure what that means, but we're gonna find out soon. They also do cocktails as well, so I'm hoping to get myself a nice little tipple. <laughs> Thank you. 
So guys, dinner at Popolo was insane. Pizzas were ginormous. You definitely do not need one each. Me and Eve shared one, and then we also got the nachos as well because we read they were absolute fire. In terms of the French influence that comes through on the pizza toppings, it was a little bit more of an expensive spot, but not massively different to the other places that we'd eaten. Can't recommend this place enough. Very nice alfresco dining area outside as well. This was full when me and Eve went, so we unfortunately had to sit inside, but the vibe in there was very nice. So we hope you've enjoyed this video all on the foodie side of Luan Prabang. We've been really impressed with the food scene here. If you're interested in the best things to do while you're here, then we've got a video on that as well. Check it out, it's linked at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you've been to any of these places or if you plan to go. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.